From our nation's capital to cities and towns all across Arkansas, many are gathering today to honor our fallen military men and women on Memorial Day. Here at home, hundreds were at the Arkansas State Veterans Cemetery in North Little Rock this morning. It's an annual tradition that is a tribute to those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. KRK4's Chanley Painter was there. She talked with many people who spoke about how important it was for them to take the time to attend. Chanley? Hey, good evening, Ashley. While we may think of celebrating Memorial Day out by the pool, or by the lake. For many, it's also a somber day to remember their loved ones who served in the armed forces. And for one family at the memorial service today, it's all about saying thank you. Home of the free because of the brave. Kind of a reminder of all the people who have sacrificed their lives for their country. A time to remember the true meaning of Memorial Day. So what do you guys think of the ceremony? For the Donahue family. <laughs> that means spending the morning at the Arkansas State Veterans Cemetery. My dad is uh, currently a colonel in the Air Force, and then my mom served as a uh, military police on the Air Force base. Antonio Donahue is a senior at Jacksonville High School, the oldest of six in a family that has lived all over the world. Our dad is deployed a lot. Uh, so that's difficult, having him in and out. It's kind of a reminder, like, what would happen if something were to happen to him. That's why for young Antonio, it's so important to stand with hundreds of others sharing similar stories. We are not only saying thank you with our mouths and our words, we are demonstrating our honor and respect. Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin, a 22-year veteran, told the crowd of the importance of families passing on the tradition of Memorial Day. We can't assume that this sort of ceremony will just happen automatically. A sentiment clearly reflected in a crowd of families, young and old, and the Donahues, a different kind of brothers and sisters in arms. Politics does get interesting, certainly, at times. At the end of the day, we're all part of the same country, same family. The military's been a big part of our lives, so it's going to continue to be a big part of our lives, whether we're serving or not. The ceremony today featured music by the 106th Army Band and the 21-gun salute from the Little Rock Air Force Base Honor Guard. After the program, the public was treated to a free picnic. Ashley, back to you. All right, Chanley, thanks very much. And on that